My name is Jeff Bruce, and I'm the curator at the Tubman African American Museum. A friend of mine who was in school a year behind me called me up and said, hey, do you know anything about museums or, or anything like that? He was a history major. And I was like, no, no, I don't know anything about that. Um, he said, well, I'm, I'm getting ready to go into this program, this museum and archival studies program that's run by National Endowment for the Humanities, and they've got all this money for scholarships, and they don't have any applicants. At Hampton University is in Virginia, so it's HBCU. It has a really important, several really, really important collections in its museum. They have like, like internationally significant collections of African art, Native American art, and also African American art there. And I got into the museum, I said, and, and started hands-on training in museum work, which is something that I hadn't really considered as a career. I didn't really know much about what museums were, how they worked, how they functioned. But once I got there, it was really interesting to me. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I found out what I wanted to do, and it turns out that what I like to do is put together ex exhibitions. So I reached out to the Tubman and um, came down for an interview, and I started here in January 2002. The Tubman Museum is a art, history, and culture museum. Um, and that's a little unique in the sense that, you know, you have art museums, and you have history museums, you have science museums, et cetera, et cetera. But we kind of have a foot in three different kind of pools, if you will. We collect African, um, traditional African art and artifacts, and then we focus on local history uh, in terms of our history collections. And when I say local, I mean Macon, Middle Georgia, Georgia, the Southeast. It's all about telling local stories that illuminate and illustrate and provide context um, for national events and national issues. We're interested in getting this information to people, but through the form of storytelling. Here, the perception is that this is for the black people in Macon. My experience is that is a local issue, like people in Macon think that, but people outside of Macon don't seem to think that. So you get people from all 50 United States, you get people from outside of the United States coming. The subject that we're dealing with is black history, black culture, black art, but that subject is open to anyone and everyone to experience and, uh, and enjoy. Fighting against that perception is part of the job. So what we do is, you know, we make a point or we've made a point to reach out, you know, in terms of our exhibitions to local artists, regardless of race, uh, uh, and get those artists participating in what we do. My favorite thing that, that I have done here is uh, we did two exhibits about Afrofuturism, any kind of uh, film or creative expression that incorporates elements of the fantastic in it, applying that to black history and black culture and black art was like, hey, I was. this is what I was, <laughs> this is in my wheelhouse in a way that nothing else has ever been in. And we did the show and it was really popular. And it was so popular that all of the people that participated in it and other people that heard about it wanted to be in another one. So we ended up doing two versions of it. We did a sequel, right, to our first, you know, hit production. When you hear somebody go, oh, <laughs> you know, oh, I didn't know that, or oh, I had not thought of that, or I didn't think of it that way. Or, that is the thing that you go, yes, you know, I did it right. That's where you go, yep, okay, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, when you can create that effect. So what I hope is that we become or continue to be self-sustaining, um, and I hope that we can um, be perceived by making, say, government or making leadership as a really important asset to this community that deserves and has earned the support of this community. Um, that's the goal, and I think that's everybody's goal, is to get to a position where everybody in the community thinks you're worth supporting, and then they do support you.